This video is the second of a six video series where we are building a computer vision game that you can play hands free just using your hand gestures. So far we have fetched Google's media pipe model for hand detection onto our web browser and been able to recognize hands using it. In this video we will build a small rocket component for the game and move that rocket around on the screen using hand gestures. You will find the link to the complete video series under the video or on my channel's homepage. I will post the github repository link once the game is complete. So we have already built the hand detection. Now let's create the rocket component and for that as we did for the hand recognizer we will again create a container on our homepage and within this div I'm going to create a component that is rocket component and as usual I'm going to create this here in the components directory rocket component.tsx and use tsrafc the es7 plus snippet and here I'm going to use a icon and for that I will I'll install the lucid react icon pack so i'm going to stop the service and npm i lucid hyphen react and inside this i'm going to write rocket icon and and it gets imported on the top from lucid react now if you run this service trim run dev actually i'll have to import this component here so i can place my cursor here command dot and it, it gets imported and we can see the rocket component is there obviously it is 40 at a 45 degree angle uh, we'll have to change that for that i'm going to write style attribute here transform rotate 45 degree degree you rotate and this will be within quotes here this will be minus 45 degree and then and then the rocket is straight i'll give it few more classes first of all which is size i'm going to make it 32 pixels and give it class name fill red 600 so it becomes red so how this is going to work is that inside this page.tsx file we already have the rocket component inside this container so i'm going to give it an id rocket container so just to make a note to ourselves and i'm going to give this container some style attributes first of which is uh, position and i'm going to set it as absolute and now if we set the left attribute to let's say 10 then the rocket goes to the left side so we'll be using this left to move the rocket around and for this we'll be creating a state variable so i'm going to write state snippet left or rather rocket left and i'm going to set the initial value as zero i'm going to import u state now when we are setting the hand results here we'll be setting the left attribute set rocket left but remember this set hand results will be called from the hand recognizer which is basically recognizing the hands so now we are ready to go ahead into the hand recognizer component and write the logic for the set hand results function after we have getting the detection we are calling the process detections and we are console logging the detections as you can see in the console here so if we bring up our hands like let me clear the console and if we bring up our hands we can see that we are detecting two hands and now we'll be parsing through this object and uh, determine the gestures so for that i'm going to first check if detections exist and detections dot handedness dot length is greater than one that means at least two hands were detected then you can see um, it has in the handedness we have zero and one and as you can see the one is basically the right hand and the zero is left hand but uh, just to make sure that tomorrow it does not get switched uh, we are just going to take the right index and left index either it is zero or one by parsing this object itself for that i'm going to write const right index it's not entirely necessary we could uh, just use one for right index and zero for left index just to make sure that in the future it does not get switched uh, i'm just going to take out that right index so i'm going to write detections dot handedness and you can see it has the first zero and then zero and then the category name as left so that is exactly what we're going to extract that is the uh, handedness zero zero dot category name if it is equivalent to right that means the zeroth element is the right index otherwise it's one so for the zero in our case we know that it will be the left so we'll know the right index is going to be one so we're going to get the left index and we're just going to check if right index is zero the left index is one otherwise it's zero just the opposite either of zero or one is either right or left index now using these indexes as you can see we'll have to go to the landmarks object which is an array of two objects and each of them are an array each containing 20 landmarks so the zeroth is in our case the left index and we'll be getting the sixth element so if you go to the media pipe js and hand landmark detection overview so here you can see these are the points so we are interested in the index finger pip this this point uh, for each hand and we'll be getting x y and z coordinates for 
each of these points so if you see the each of the landmarks has x y and z coordinates so in our case we'll be getting the landmark 6 x y and z component for left hand and then again the same for the right hand so back in the code we're going to write detections dot landmarks and first the left index and of that the sixth landmark and this is going to have x y and z components or coordinates so that we are going to destructure here const x y and z and now we'll rename these parameters because uh, for right index also we will be getting the same thing so let me call it left x left y and left z now we'll be doing the same thing for the right index same landmark sixth landmark and we'll be naming this right z right y and right x now we'll be calculating the tilt and the degree of rotation between these hands so for that i'm going to write const tilt is equal to right y minus left y over right x minus left x that is going to give us the tilt we could use the tilt to move the rocket but but in that case the tilt and the movement speed will have a linear relationship but i'm going to get the degree out of the tilt and tilt and degree doesn't have a linear relationship because it is uh, the tan of degree is basically the tilt so i'm going to get a tan inverse on this tilt to get the degree and i'm going to make sure the movement is linearly related to the degree of rotation rather than the tilt so for that i'm going to write the function tan inverse so that is going to give us the degrees is equal to math dot a tan and i'm going to pass the tilt times 180 divided by pi math dot pi so this expression gives gives us the degree of rotation from the tilt and this degree will be used so to set the left attribute for our rocket so the movement of the rocket will be linearly related to the degree of rotation so we are going to call the set hand results function from here set hand results and we can pass any objects here actually i just realized that the set hand results does not take any parameter so we'll have to change that so when we are defining the set hand results i'm going to say result any and here also we'll have to set result any so it takes a parameter and we're going to call it using tilt and degrees this is basically a, a way a shorthand way we are sending a json object back with the key value paired as this tilt is equal to tilt and degrees is equal to degrees but uh, since the variable name and the key name is the same so we can use this shorthand also i'm going to pass is detected so what we're going to do in the future is that whenever a hand is not detected the game is going to pause so for that we need this information as well whether or not we are detecting both of the hands and on the and this hand recognizer component is going to convey that information using the set hand results callback function so i'm going to call is detected is equal to true along with the tilt and degrees and if the directions does not exist or handedness length is less than two in that case we are going to just say set hand results is detected is false tilt is zero and degrees is zero so this function calls are basically going to invoke this function here and i'm going to have to receive that parameter that is being sent from there as well and this result object will have the is detected tilt and degrees and that will be used to set the left attribute which will determine the left attribute for the rocket component so here i'm going to just say rocket left so that way whenever we are setting this state variable this is going to update the rocket components left attribute so let me go ahead and create few more state variables as well for the is detected and degrees so i'm going to write state snippet is detected and this is going to be false initially and i'm going to write state snippet degrees this is going to be zero initially and here i'm going to write set is detected is equal to result dot is detected and set degrees is equal to result dot degrees in fact i'm going to extend these results as well in the hand recognizer component uh, remember when we are loading this uh, init video and model in that time also we can send back the information that the hand recognizer component is actually loading so what we can do is that set hand results is loading true actually let me go ahead and write it inside the init video and model because here we are awaiting it so set hand results loading is true and after we have loaded the video and the model and we have set the interval uh, i'm going to set is loading to false now one thing i think i missed here is that uh, we are setting an interval inside this use effect hook uh, inside this function which is being called inside this use effect hook and this function is going to run only when this component hand recognizer component loads so in ideal case a component loads only once and it is not unloaded until or unless you refresh the page but in react you should build your components in such a way that you should expect these components to uh, load and unload multiple times yeah, you can use strict flag to support the older implementations of react but uh, in their documentation they mentioned that going forward
forward the default behavior is going to be that you should build your application keeping in mind that the components is go are going to load and unload multiple times so you can see this inside this init video and model we are setting an interval when we are doing that this is going to put this task in a backend thread that is provided by web api and every one second this task gets put into the v8 stack and it gets executed so the component that put it on that stack we have to think in such a way that this component might be loaded and unloaded multiple times that is going to set multiple intervals into the backend thread and it's going to run multiple tasks on the v8 stack if this component gets loaded and unloaded multiple times so it is always a best practice whenever we are setting any interval or setting any timeout that gets uh, into the backend thread it's always uh, recommended that we write a clearing statement that clears that interval or timeout so for that what i'm going to do is that i'm going to uh, save this interval in a detection interval parameter and i'm going to define this parameter up on top here as any and as a clearing statement when the component gets unloaded we can return an arrow function and inside that arrow function i'm going to call clear interval and pass this detection interval that way if this component gets unloaded this is going to clear the interval and when the component loads again uh, this is going to set this uh, interval again that way we will not have multiple threads running in the back end uh, creating multiple detections at once so with that uh, we have already set the set results uh, we are communicating all the information that the hand recognizer should communicate we are setting the uh, is loading parameter we are setting if it is detecting both the hands what is the tilt and what is the degrees and using these degrees will be in the page.tsx we'll be setting the rocket left attribute and that will enable us to move the rocket based upon our hands tilt or rather the degree of rotation now to set the rocket left i'm going to first check if result dot degrees exist and result dot degrees is not equal to zero then we're going to say set rocket left and it takes the previous value and whatever we return from here is going to be set as the rocket left attribute and that is going to go to the left attribute of the rocket container so here i'm going to return previous value minus result dot degrees divided by six so i'm going to divide it by six uh, just to reduce the sensitivity of the movement based on the degree of rotation so this is still a linear relationship but a large amount of rotation only results in a small pixel movement onto the screen that is why i'm dividing it by six if we save it and refresh our page actually i'm still using the one second interval so i'm going to divide it by 30 to simulate a 30 frames per second and if i refresh now we can see that we can move our rocket using our hand but one thing is that as you can see this moves outside the page and that is the same for the right side so we don't want it to move off the screen for that i'm going to have to do some checks before i'm setting this so i'm going to put this in a variable const dot return and i'm going to return this return variable so in most cases we'll be returning this ret variable only but in two cases when return is let's say less than 20 pixel then return the previous value itself and if the return value is greater than window dot inner width minus 52 52 because for the rocket component we have set a 32 pixel size and we also want a 20 pixel padding as for the left edge so if this is window dot inner width minus 52 if it's greater than that then we are going to return the previous value itself in all other cases we are going to return the return value which is the previous minus result dot degrees divided by six now if we save it and refresh it actually this is already within the 20 pixel so what we'll do is that when this page loads so i'm going to write another use effect hook here to set it at the center of the page so for that i'm going to write a use effect hook use effect snippet it the dependency array will be empty because this is going to run on load this does not require any clearing statement i'm going to import the use effect hook and for the code block i'm going to say set rocket left is equal to window dot inner width divided by two and that's going to make sure that whenever we are loading the page the docket is at the center and we can move it around and this does not go beyond 20 pixel on the left side and on the right side as well so we are moving our rocket uh, one thing is that i want to give this rocket a tilt whenever it is moving either on the left or right side so for that what i'm going to do is that in the page.tsx file we are already setting the degrees that we are receiving from the hand recognizer component into the state variable and we are going to pass these degrees uh, as 
as an attribute to this rocket component so whenever that state variable changes this is the updated value is going to go into the rocket component and here i'm going to have to define this so i'm going to set degrees as a number and i'm going to destructure this here and inside this transform rather than just setting it to 45 degrees i'm going to say this is minus 45 minus degrees now if you refresh you can see the rocket is moving uh, and tilting and this is a little too much so i'm going to say degrees over three just to reduce the sensitivity a little bit the movement is right but i'm going to smoothen out the left and right movement as well as the tilt so for that i'm going to say transition all and animation duration 10 millisecond and i'm going to do the same thing so this is for the tilt and i'm going to do the same thing for the container as well that's going to make sure that the left and right movement is also smoothened out so if you refresh now we can see that the movement is a little bit smoothened out using the css animation also one thing the rocket is at the center of the page i want it to be pushed a little bit down so for that i'm just going to add margin top 500 pixel so it is at the at the bottom that means whenever we are creating these uh, boulders the user will have a chance to respond to that because it will have a long screen space at the top so we are able to detect hand gestures and move html elements on the page that is basically the rocket component from here we'll be creating infinite amount of boulders coming from the top and implement collision detection and build game logic around it.